Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantifiedStrategies.com. Today, we are looking at the probability of a lost decade in the S&P 500. Scary, right? Don't worry, a lost decade does not happen often, and we show you an investing strategy that makes it less likely to happen. From 1920 to 2020, a full century of data, the S&P 500 only had three lost decades. So, let's take a trip back in time to see when they happened. First up, the 1930s. The Great Depression hit, and the stock market crashed hard, down over 50%. It took until the late 1940s to recover. Then, the 1970s, with sky-high inflation and economic stagnation. Stocks tanked again, taking about a decade to bounce back. And finally, the 2000s. Remember the dot-com bubble bursting? Then the 2008 financial crisis? Yep, another 50% drop, and another decade of flat returns. But here's the big picture. Out of 10 decades from 1920 to 2020, only three were lost. That means 70% of the time, the S&P 500 gave investors positive returns over 10 years. So instead of worrying, meet your new best friend, dollar cost averaging, or DCA. It's simple. You invest a fixed amount every month, no matter what the market's doing. This spreads out your risk, so you buy more shares when prices are low and fewer when they're high. It reduces the likelihood of a lost decade, the website of dollarsanddata.com did the math. From 1920 to 2020, a 10-year DCA strategy in an 80-20 stock and bond portfolio beat inflation 89% of the time when using rolling returns. Even in a tough period, like 1965 to 1974, when the market dropped over 40%, your $100,000 ended up at $68,000. Not great, but still ahead. Even during the 2000s lost decade, DCA kept your money ahead of inflation. And if you stretch to 20 years, the odds of losing money in real terms are almost zero. If you liked this video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and drop a comment below. Tell me, are you using DCA already or are you worried about a lost decade?